professional fireworks are shot out of mortars. How high a firework goes depends on how big it is. <laughs> The traditionally accepted rule of thumb for how high a firework goes is 100 feet per inch diameter of the shell. For example, a 3 inch diameter shell would go 300 feet and a 5 inch diameter shell would go 500 feet. But is this actually correct? Fireworks come in a variety of sizes with no real upper limit. If you want to understand the difference between consumer fireworks and professional fireworks, check out our video on the subject, link in the description. The larger shells are shot to a higher altitude to prevent the effects from hitting the ground since they have a bigger break. But you also want to make sure it's not so high that you make the firework look a lot smaller than it really is. There are many things that affect a shell's max height, mass, air resistance, amount and type of black powder used for the lift charge, the length of the mortar, and the amount of space between the shell and the inside of the mortar that it is fired from. The rule of thumb is just a guide as some fireworks are designed to go to a different height based on their effect and not just their diameter. A great example is a salute, which is a shell filled with flash powder and made to only give a loud audible report or bang and not throw any colored stars. They are designed to stay closer to the ground to maximize the audible effect the crowd experiences. They can get away with this because they don't have stars that can fly out large distances from the shell. The rule of thumb assumes a linear relationship between a shell diameter and the height it will achieve. Published data shows that typical firework shells reach higher than the rule of thumb implies and in some cases actually exceeds it by hundreds of feet. If we add significantly larger shells, you can see that the opposite is true. There's a dramatic flattening of the curve around the 10 inch mark which causes the trend to deviate far below the rule of thumb for these very large shells. This includes the Japanese Yon Shakudama and current world record shot in the USA in 2020 coming in at just under 60 inches in diameter. A fun fact is that the standard rule of thumb would not apply at all if you were on the moon. Check out our video on the subject, link in the description. Why does the rule of thumb fall apart when you get to larger diameters? First off, if you keep making shells bigger and bigger, but you continue to put them up higher and higher, they will stop looking any better. Bigger. Three inch shell will be perceived as the same size as the 10 inch shell if you shoot the 10 inch shell too high or too far away. The second reason is as you scale up the size of a firework, the more energetic the lift charge needs to be in order to get the firework out of the mortar to an appropriate altitude. <laughs> Firing a shell out of a mortar is a violent process when the black powder rapidly combusts underneath it, accelerating the shell to a velocity of hundreds of feet per second. Here's a comparison of the energetic exit from a mortar as you scale up in size. Fireworks casings are traditionally made of cardboard and require increased casing thickness as you scale up in size. Here is the volume of a 60 inch sphere compared to the volume inside a 60 inch spherical shell as you not only increase the diameter but also have to increase the casing thickness and lose a ton of usable volume. Be sure to check out our other videos on how fireworks work. Like, subscribe. This is Mike from Pyro Innovations and I'll see you on the next one.